So, you know, the best thing I can say is, is, is stay away from uh, these range type uh, areas where prices look like it's kind of consolidating. Uh, you know, it's inside ranging right here. So, and plus you had a wedge going on. So stay away from, okay. Definitely long here. Um, where did I get in at? 50. Okay. So let's see if we can pick up point here and then two points on the last contract. So price action like this because, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike. And thank you for tuning in this morning. This is my live recording session of, of trading the uh, E mini SP 500, the ES. Um, I was to start off by thanking those who have currently subscribed to the channel. That means you've already hit the red button, the subscribe button, and clicked on the little bell icon as well. If you haven't done that, please make sure to click, click on that little bell icon. That's uh, make sure that you never miss one of the uploads when I post to the channel. That's the post notifications. So please ensure that you have. Please make sure you have all your post notifications turned on. Okay, if you want to be privy and privy to all the videos um, uh, each time I upload. If, it's, if, if this is your first time watching one of the videos, thank you, however you came across the channel um, this morning. And uh, please make, take the time to go ahead and watch the video and subscribe to subscribe to the channel as well. And click the little bell icon if you don't mind to make sure you never miss one of the videos. So we'll jump into the video right now of this recorded session here. Today's the 28th of March. And we'll take a look at the 60 range, which is the higher time frame. Um, and kind of look to see what happened to the overnight session as well as what happened um, Friday session. So Friday session was the 25th right here, okay? And as you can see, we just been kind of stair stepping to the upside, guys. Um, so, which is a good thing, you know, the market is pushing higher, pushing higher. So the market has been bullish, okay? Um, in the overnight session, we kind of just uh, moved sideways here. But what, what I need to do is, we're going to scroll over to the left here and find out, I believe that area there is around the 40, 45, 40, okay? I talked about this in a video yesterday that I um, posted. Um, so let's see here, yeah, the 45, 40 area right here. Price is rejecting, it may have broke through that area so far, let's see. Uh, it did, man, a little high here, right here at 40. So the high for today is at uh, almost 50, it's at 49 pretty much. So uh, if we scroll to the left hand, side of the chart you always you always need to scroll left to kind of see um where price is he, you know right now we're looking at areas of resistance and we have this low volume area sitting right here but price has moved its way or we trace back up to this area right here and is rejecting out of this area here so somewhere right around here so um right there was a, a Push to the downside here off the higher time frame, the 60 range chart. Price dives down, pulls back, and pushes lower. Now we're tracing back at this point here into this area here, and there's a little swing right here. Okay, some structure that was formed right here. Okay, price pushed down, pull back, made a low, pull back, made another low um, within this swing right here. Okay, and then it broke structure to the downside. So price right now is rejecting off of the 49 area. And as it stands, we could possibly may push higher and come up here and test around the 57, 58 towards the top end of this high right here of this swing. Okay. But price can reject here just as well and move we'll all the way back down to this high volume you now. So right now we are uh, in an area of resistance where price can actually uh, reject. Okay. All right. We can reject this area and then push lower. So, um, and that's what we're doing right now. We're kind of bouncing, rejecting right now. Kind of moving sideways right now. Uh, this little high volume note here. So um, price kind of built this little high volume area here uh, over the last two days. So pretty much Friday into the overnight session now to today. So right now, looking at the higher time frame, we're moving kind of moving sideways here. So price can reject here and then move all the way back down to come down to forty five thirteen. So. Um, Let's kind of look to see. So right now, market's bullish, but that doesn't mean that we can't take a look for opportunities to go short because we are rejecting off of an area of resistance right now. So we'll scroll down and uh, scroll, um, we'll move down and look at a lower time frame. So which is a twelve range chart. Okay, this is where price 
bounced here at 8 o'clock this morning, rejected it, sort of breaking some structures to the downside. So uh, right now we do have where price is, uh, it had a high here prior to, we traced out, made a low, okay? And now it is pushed higher. So here was a high, low, price breaking higher, breaking structure, meaning breaking this area of this high right here, which was resistance. And now it's trading sideways right now within this um, this this swing right here to the upside. So I'll show you that, guys. Um, let's see here. So the swing here, price pulls back, and it, and then it pushes higher. Okay. So you have a swing here to the upside, and price is pulling back, trading within this area right here, this leg right here. Okay. So. Let's see if we can possibly kind of mark some areas, some levels, you want to call it. Um, mark some zones. So, yeah, the market's trading sideways right now. So, don't, you know, be careful not to get caught um, in the sideways action and taking trades and getting stopped out. So, you, you have to. You can trade either way right now. I mean, right now, price, like I said, it's, it tapped into the area, moving, moving to that area, resistance off the higher time frame, rejected from it. And now it is just, you know, pushed off of it and, and, and moving sideways right now. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, yep, yeah, right here, price has, I'm not sure yet. Price is bouncing, okay, right here, all right. So it, came, it, it pulled back and came to this area right here, reject it, but you have to be careful because you have, uh, Actually, near resistance, but right above us. But price could actually, yeah. See, it's coming right to the top volume note. What happened here? Price pushed to the upside, retraced back, came back to this area right here, rejected this area here, and then it's paused and it's pushed back up to this high volume note. So, and um, there's there's resistance right here. So be careful. Be careful. So I'm gonna stand down right now until the price kind of tells me, gives me a little clearer picture because it's actually moving sideways right now. And I don't wanna be caught in, in any of this. It's in a wedge. It's in a wedge right now, building volume in this area. These are all things you have to picture with your eye, guys. I mean, you know, the longer you do it, the more experience you gain, um, the better you get at you know, seeing things. And that's the biggest thing I, I talk about is being able to follow price action, but understanding the market structure and uh, kind of depicting when price is ranging, when it's in a wedge, you know, you have to be able to see those type of things. So, let's just wait it out. Yeah, price is rejecting this area again. It'll probably come up to this area right here again. But you just, it's, it's moving sideways. You don't have much opportunity. Uh, price is coming down here and bouncing off this area right here. So this is an area of support. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going long here. Ah, come on. Come on. 
Okay, scalp into this area right here. A little late on the entry going long, but um, let's see. Right now I'm up, um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, what am I up? Today's the 28th, like I said. Uh, just up 12 ticks right now. Okay. I'm a scalper, guys, in a don't position a swing trade, so I'm just, you know, getting in based on what price is showing me, what it's doing. Falling price action, but we're moving sideways, so we have to be careful. Price projecting it, this um, area right here. This is uh, supply sitting up here in this area uh, off the 12 range chart. So I came up to it, we traced back to it, bounced. Um, yeah. So, well, for a quick little scalp short. Yeah, I'm going for a quick little scalp short here. Oh no, that's two ticks. Come on. Okay, you're looking for a beneficial scalp, scalp short, okay, just to this this area right here. So and actually price probably could come down to uh, actually right here, maybe 35, 34, somewhere around there. Okay. So that was a scalp short there. On a pullback to a small area to a small area supply sitting right here off the 12 range chart. Okay. Okay, I'm up 18 ticks. Just picking up six ticks right there. Building some we built some volume in this area right here. Okay. You see it? So let's see. Take seven. Okay. Price is back down to this area here. Um Yeah, this would be quite interesting to see what happens right here. Quite interesting to see. Oops. You know, price is moving sideways, so we're caught in a wedge right now. It's not wanting to break up and make a, a higher high or break down and make a lower low, so. Be careful. There's a low right here, high right here. Okay, scalping. Come on, okay, quick little scalp. Price come back up here to 37. Just scalping, guys, within this in this in this wedge. I'm scalping within this wedge, picking up just quick little ticks, falling price action. What it's trying to, you know, what it's doing. Um, 
a lot of people will stay away from this because they don't like to trade within a you know, you know within a way uh, a range. So I'm on 24 ticks right now. Okay, had 18, picking up another six ticks. All right. So I've been, I've only been trading for maybe 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes to be honest with you. Um, about six seven minutes right now. I picked up 24 ticks right now. Trading uh, a range. Okay. So, show you we've got a wedge going on here. I'm trading the inside wedge or inside range. Price moving sideways right here. We have a wedge right here. It's a 12 range chart. It was a high here. Price pulled back, made a higher high here, pulled back, and made a low right here. And so far, we have a um, we we'll have a high here, but and uh, we have a high here. We have a low on the pullback right here. Okay, there's a low sitting right here. Not a low of day, but a low. And price has not pushed higher to take out this high or pushed lower to take out this low. So we're trading within this small area right here, small little leg, small little pullback. So this is a, a range right here. Price is ranging and we have a wedge. So this is trading inside of a, a, a range or inside of a wedge. Okay. So I'm just going to scout. And it's not hard, guys. I say this over and over. Just keep your trading simple. Price looks like it may want to try to push it to, to the downside now because it can't. So far, it's not wanting to push higher and take out this high here. So if it doesn't want to take out the high, more likely it may come down here, test the lower, break to the low. You just never know. You just got to follow price action. Um, let me take a look here and see. It could come down here and test this area right here. Maybe so. I just don't, it's not probably going to give us much clearance to maybe, you know, I don't know if I trade that. Um, cause I guess if price comes to this area right here, rejects, we, we got resistance sitting right above that can stop us. Okay. So we just did get the bounce from down here. Uh, I missed that trade there, guys. Um, I the liquid price coming just a little bit lower, but it did come down within a couple of ticks of this area here. Um, did not break below this area here, rejected, and it went back towards the highs. Okay, so that was a long right there. I didn't get into it, nor did I take it. I should have taken it, but you know that's just part of trading. You know, um, I could have, you know, gotten to the trade there too, but I missed it, so uh, it's okay. Let's move on. Um, let's see, but we're still still um, ranging right now in this wedge here. So we are approaching the top end of this high volume area again. And uh, going to wait and just kind of play it out. See what happens here. So far, price is just as it made this high here, pull it back, start it. Making these little small swings to the upside, pivot, didn't break the high here, started coming back down. So it's just ranging sideways, you know, came down, made a low here, pull back, lower low, pull back, have not made a lower low here in this leg here now. Now it's just trying to push back up. So the question is, are we going to come up here, take this area here out, and then take this area here out? So um, we'll see. All right, so let's see. Um, uh, yeah, let's see what price is going to do here. Maybe to pull back to kind of hard. Maybe to pull back to this area right here. I'm going to put market right here, kind of see what happens. Um, it did. It did. It pushed down here, it pulled back. It didn't make a lower low right here, but what it did was turn back around, push back up, test the highs here. Took out some structure here to the left, you can see. So it pushed up, pulled back, made a higher high right here, meaning taking out this high and taking out structure highs right here. So 
maybe it's going to pull back now to 40 to maybe maybe if we, can, if we can get down to around 32 maybe 31 31 and a half we'll see what happens but it could keep pushing higher here okay and start taking out maybe uh push towards for the high, the highs of today so we'll see um yeah we'll see what it's actually going to do but uh see um there was supply sitting right here the price pulled back to this area right here that's an area of supply there's an area right here price rejected it that's why it pushed down so um uh, we'll see i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for the pullback yeah i was gonna get into price pull back to this area here i was gonna get into a long kit but the market got real volatile right here so um I didn't take a trade because it was volatility just started it just picked up real quick here. And once again we're trading, we're still trading, we're ranging sideways here. So um we pushed up here, bounced off an area of, of resistance at the tops here. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're moving sideways now. I'm just gonna hold off. Uh price it retraced back to the area I wanted to see it come back to, but it got real volatile real quick and and um uh, the market just raced down so um this would have been a solid entry but when it got down here it just shot right back up so i'm staying out of the market for right now so we can move away out of this uh, vpoc area market keeps it's breaking lower and lower so it's uh moving side it was moving sideways and now it is trying to take this low here out so after pulling back moving sideways now it's trying to break lower okay so uh now's the time to start looking for some this was a short up here i should have taken this trade here i didn't get into it um okay price is breaking lower now it's finally broke this low right here Let's see. Price is rejecting that area where I had that purple on it. Okay. I am long. Twenty-four fifty. Eh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, should get filled here on the second contract. If we can get up to uh, 24 and a quarter here. 
This might be my last trade for today. Mm. We'll see. Mm. Market hasn't done much today other than kind of moving sideways in a range. Hmm. Ah oh, man, don't don't want a price action today. Really don't. Come on. Ah, I can't stand this chopping this. It's chopping around like this. It's driving me nuts. Ranging. Mars is uh, got to have your head screwed on tight for this today. This market is ranging with sideways here. All this sideways action. Get you chopped out if you don't know what you're doing. Come on. All right, I'm getting out. I'm going to take this with, take this point and go ahead and get out this crazy mess today here. All right, out on that trade, okay. Let's see what the market does. All right, market's pushing, pushing lower. So it's uh, it's like I said, guys. Like price came up there and hit that area up there, uh, the area supporting swing, uh, area resistance up there off the sixty range, and you look for that rejection. This was a short right here at nine fifty five, ten o'clock right here. Okay, that would be a good area to go short at. Um, now price is doing its thing. It's it's. I'm pushing to the downside after ranging for shoot almost almost an hour and a half a little, little bit over an hour and a half so all right um yeah i'm long here i'm definitely long here okay Definitely long here. Um, 
when I get in at 50. Okay. So let's see if we can pick up point here and then two points on the last contract. So um Yep. Hopefully you can get field here on his last contract. Come on, Price. Come on, push up. Just one tick away from hitting my uh, last contract. There we go. One tick. Look at it. <laughs> Come on. All right, got feel. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits for today on uh, trading. Um, you know, it started out. So far, uh, the market opened up. It was just moving sideways. So range days like this, inside ranges, um, you know, within, it, it was in a wedge. So when it's moving sideways like that, ranges like that, um, it's a bit of consolidation, of course, but the market's moving sideways like this. It was more like it was going to push to the downside. And the reason being is because it can't really hit this area of a resistance off that higher time frame. And I always, like I say, I always, mention is look for price or structure to be broken and then look for your pullback so once price broke i mean once price pulled back to that area of um off that 60 range i showed you right here oh was it at let's go back to it go back to that again i'll show you uh where was it at um one second let's see here what was that at Oh, 50 area. Okay, let's go back. We'll go back. 45.50. Right here in this area here. So uh price pulls back up to this area right here. 40. No, no, sorry, that's not that's 44.50. Sorry about that. Here it is. Right here. Uh this area right here. So price reject out of this area right here. This is an area of resistance. Price rejects it. Price starts projecting off of a higher time frame. In this case, an area of resistance. Then you're looking for price to, on a lower time frame, to start breaking structure to the downside, and then you start looking for retracements back uh, to certain levels to take your shorts from. So, um, but price moves sideways right here, and most of the day I did, was able to scalp for a few trades here, picking up some ticks here, and then um, that's pretty much it here. So let's see. So price is bouncing in this area down here right now. Uh, looks like it off the 12 range here. Looking at um, small area support right here. Price kind of moving sideways. A uh, little zigzag right here. Little rotation where price pushed up, pulled back, pushed up, and kind of did push higher, taking out a little area structure here. Price retraces back to it, bounces off of it. On the retracement so you know the best thing i can say is is, is stay away from um uh, these range type uh areas where price look like it's kind of consolidating uh you know it's inside ranging right here so and plus you had a wedge going on so stay away from price action like this because unless you have experience and really know what you're doing um it doesn't give you much room to trade from <clears throat> of course and you you'll, you'll get stopped out multiple times if you really don't know where to get in and at and where to get out at okay so try to stay away from you know trading the es uh when price is kind of doing this sideways sideways ranging like this because ranges um price is consolidating and at the same time price will you know uh get into a trade you know it, it'll stop you out pretty quick you know um because you, ha you have to be able to foresee and understand what price is the aim or the goal of what price is really trying to accomplish uh when it starts ranging like this okay all right guys i appreciate you guys tuning in today and watching the session here i'm going to go ahead and close this video out and i'm sure you guys are probably watching it now um if it's your first time watching one of the videos guys i hope you found you know like i said i'm a price action trader um and this is just kind of how i trade so hopefully you found the, the information the information valuable i scout you know i get in scout up the next setup but unfortunately today was kind of mostly since the session opened up right here, it was mostly just kind of side, it was ranging for like the, like an hour and a half. And then we got to push to the downside, okay? 
So it is what it is. Tomorrow's another day, but still, I was able to scalp and make you know some uh, profit today. And that's the end goal is to make sure that you can profit each and every day. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Uh, until then, stay safe if you're trading the market. And uh, that's all I have for you today.